years, trains have been used to transport people and freight. At first, steam engine locomotives were used to power the trains. Today, most trains are powered by modern diesel engine locomotives. In some parts of the United States, and in many other countries, electricity is used to power locomotives. Freight trains help bring to our community the things we need and use. Let's take a look at all the different types of railroad cars that are needed to carry produce and goods to and from our community. This is a box car. It's used to carry things that are in boxes and other types of packages that need to be protected from the weather. Box cars have very large side doors. This makes it easy to load and unload the freight. What is different about this new type of box car? Forklift tractors make the loading job easier. Things that are too big or too heavy to put into boxcars are carried in gondola cars. Steel. Scrap metal. Gravel. Coal. And other bulk products are carried in gondola cars. Hopper cars are strong like gondola cars, but they are taller, usually have a roof, and have trap doors in the floor. Grain, cement, and other bulk products that have to be protected from the weather are carried in hopper cars. Large and heavy things that do not need to be protected from the weather are carried on flat cars. Truck trailers loaded with products are sometimes carried on flat cars. Why do you think this is called piggyback freight? This looks like a box car, but it's a special type of car called a refrigerator car. Meat, fruit, and vegetables must be kept at a certain temperature. So they're transported in refrigerator cars. It's like a giant refrigerator on wheels. This machine keeps the inside of the car at just the right temperature. Some refrigerator cars do not have machines to keep them cold, so ice is stored in a compartment. ice is put directly on the food to keep it cool. This is called top icing the car. Sheep, pigs, cattle, and other animals are carried in stock cars. 
These cars have slatted sides, so the animals can get plenty of fresh air. liquid, like oil, is to be carried by a train, it's pumped into tank cars. What other liquids can you think of that are carried in tank cars? are specially built to carry only one type of freight. The last car on a train is called the caboose. This is the home for the men who work on the train while it's moving from town to town. tower, the yard master uses a two-way radio to tell the other yard workers which cars to move and connect to make up a train. can't put itself together or take itself apart. Or can it? In this modern freight yard, each of the cars has a special color code card on it. As it moves past this machine, the color card tells another machine, called a computer, to which train this car should be attached. machines are controlled by the computer too. As the car moves, it is mechanically connected to the right train that will take it on its way to the proper city. many types of railroad cars. What type of car do you think will carry these boxes? What kind of car is needed to transport these bags of cement? Or a bulldozer? Frozen food? of cars can you see on this train? What more do you want to know about freight trains? <laughs>